Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today as we talk to Big Brad over here and uh, tell him that we found Newton. I don't know where Newton is. Actually, I might have just seen him because I have just been to the, uh, the, um, what is it called? Medical. Medical sound and psionics level uh, to heal. And, uh, yeah, so we rescued Newton last episode and also did many quests, actually. That was fantastic. So, yeah, what can I do for you? Or you four, sure. Uh, so about Newton. Yeah, did you see him down there? Yeah, he ran into Psy Beetles and was forced to hide in an abandoned warehouse just west of the Mushroom Cove. He cut his leg a bit, but he'll survive. In fact, Pasquale should be patching him up right now. I told him to be careful, not to wander off too far. Well, I'm glad he's all right, and thank you for helping him. That is all as far as I'm concerned. You can go back to Tanner. Actually, I can go back to Pasqual, because uh, I uh, I want to make sure he's in there. If I could talk to Newton and just be like, hey, what's up? Because I, I was just here, but I didn't see him, so he might be in there. No, actually, I know where he is. He's over here. Is he? Actually? Doctor? No. Oh, he's here! A smiling face greets you, and not the greening wound that we saw last episode. Carrie! Thank you very much for saving my life. I owe you for that one. Yeah, I, uh... I just came over to check out uh, how you were doing, and, uh... Be careful next time you go chasing hoppers. Bye. Yeah, I'm fine at the moment, he says. The leg kind of still hurts, but, you know, like, it's getting better. But as far as... Hunting those stupid hoppers, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. See you around, Carrie. Yep, see you around, Newton. Have fun. Yeah, being limpy. Limpy? What? Having a limp, basically, for a little while at least. Uh, so, let's go to the Commons and Cantina, because that's where Tanner is, and we're gonna get our second main mission done in, in, very, in a very short amount of time. I did get a little bit lost for a little while. Uh, mostly because the, the the journal didn't tell me that I had completed the quests, and I thought there were more because I didn't count the little. Anyway, it's I'm Colonel RPG. You know how I am. Carrie. Yeah, I. Uh, it's, uh, I'm done with Brett's quest. Now what? Excellent. I have another task for you. Gorski has a lead on. Uh, has a lead. Has led. Gorski has led an expedition into the nearby GMS compound, and he requested that you specifically join them there. Go to uh, station platform exit and talk to Essie. She can instruct you on how to get uh, reach GMS compound. After you've completed this task, come and see me. This is actually really great. Because we were exploring down there, for one. Uh, also, because I have a mission that goes down there. Also, let's not go anywhere. Because I want to see if Silver something or other is over there. And it is not. Kitty is somewhere, though. Uh, so let's go to the platform. A, uh, Tanner had a really weird line, really weird phrasing in regards to where the heck we were going. I suppose I understood what he meant. Uh, hey, Assy. Hi, Carrie. Heading out somewhere? Do you need directions? Yeah, I was hoping you could tell me how to get somewhere. Uh, GMS compound. Oh, that one's easy. Just exit the station to the north and head straight until the first crossroad. Then turn left and go straight until you come upon an auxiliary road. Keep going straight, following the road, and it will lead you into an abandoned warehouse block. GMS compound is in its northwest corner. Thanks. Well, I'm definitely not going there, though. Because we have places to go. And hopefully there will be uh, dogs around here. Because, I mean, just killing them. Oh, not here. Still another level past. Bison! Do you want to teach me more things? Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. The, the, I learned, learned the things. Um, what does Forged Mission do? It's called Psy Punching. 200 credits. Yeah! I now can Psy Punch people. Well, hopefully. I'm not really sure how the things are. So, you can go away. You're not needed. Um... That's our Psy things. Yeah, force emission. Yeah, that's what that is. While this ability is active, your unarmed and fist weapon attacks deal a bunch of mechanical damage. But at the cost of five Psy points each attack. That's terrible. I don't need that. I don't need to waste that money. No, 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 no. I should have read that. Actually, didn't I read that? I thought I read that. That's why I skipped it. Hey, let me just read it. What does force mission do? It's called Psy Punching. You focus your mind to add your psionic power to your fist attacks. I can teach you that ability. Sure, I'd rather not. Well, actually, maybe. What about the electrokinesis sound? Or whatever. 
You project an electrical bolt, oh yeah, that jumps between your enemies, shocking them. The one to take full brunt of the attack, the full brunt of the attack, can also end up being paralyzed for a short duration. I can teach you this ability for 150. Yeah, that's definitely what I want, not the other nonsense of punching people. I don't punch people. That's a, a whole different build. Probably for the uh, paranoid, but there's a, there's a specific, specific thing that, uh, specific feat. That, uh, that is pretty good. Oh, no. What the heck? No, no, I pressed W. That was awful. Don't do that. Uh, do this. So, do away with that. And that is our Electrokinesis, which is just damage. And costs a tremendous amount of damage. Does a tremendous amount of damage, too. But my f ice is much better. So, that one, it's because it's contextual. It's, it's, not, it's normal that it's going to be pretty powerful. The... Or... Pr that is not pretty powerful, that's not what I mean. It's it's normal that it's going to be less powerful, because it does the paralysis and whatever. So, I want to come down here to where the sneaky people are, because they will sneak up on me and kill me. That's not the reason why I want to come over here. I want to come over here because I want to kill them myself, but you know you know the deal. Uh, and also because I'm pretty sure this leads other, to other places. Maybe? There should be an exit over here. So, that's where we were at the beginning of last episode, I think. Let's just circle around. Let's also save. I don't... So we've been finding stalkers, not necessarily lunatics. Oh, there it is. That's an exit. So... Passage unknown. Oh, right, because I, I wrote unknown. Let's write it right now, and if we go through the one passage, because there might be more, but if there's only the one... Then I'll delete it. This doesn't feel safe. I don't feel safe over here. Okay. If I remember correctly, there are robots here as well. Some bandage. Oh, hacking. I have that. Some of that. Okay. This charge has lasted for quite a while now. We got ourselves a lighter and a bunch of charges, which is great. I just said that it has lasted, and it has indeed. Okay, and this extra speed with the stealth is phenomenal. I love it. So we got a good haul out of that one. Also, there's an enemy. You jerk. Okay. Let's try this one. Please don't hurt yourself. I hurt myself. But I'm good. Oh, um, what? No. Not well. No, you regenerate. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I couldn't... I could, if, apparently 40% is not good enough. Or maybe it's rounded and the way it rounds... Ooh! Antithermic galvanic overcoat. And also the hawker. Some good stuff in Stygian coins. Absolutely great. Uh, unload that. So this thing is just better? Sort of better. The heat defense is, is probably pretty good. The armor penalty is for dodging, I think. Stealth is decreased by a tremendous amount. That increases constitution. Immune to burning. Mechanical damage threshold increased by 200% against bullets and shotgun shells. Yeah, that is great. I think I... Yeah, that is uh, that is pretty good. Uh, did I see an item, an icon over here? I did not. So we're going to be really rubbish at stealthy, stealthing, but, you know, such is life. Uh, maybe I shouldn't lock, uh, pick it. Because if there's a passage from the back... There might be. Oh, no. You jerk. Okay. Uh, he's, he's still... I'm still above 90. <laughs> so the fear applies... This applies to, so you're going to be slow, and you're going in a doomed direction. Okay. Pretty powerful. That fear is a tremendously powerful skill uh, when the enemy applies it to you. I remember I really don't like that sound because of every time I hear, I heard it when I first played the game. Every time I heard it, that would basically, I would be neutralized. Stealth is increased right there because it's black and whatever. So, 
So yeah, we're going in through there. Stealth mode. That's locked. A lot of things to lockpick around here. Oh, again, I don't need to lockpick that one in particular. I mean, I might need to lockpick that one in particular. We'll figure it out. It's just a waste of time to... A uh, waste of lock uh, lockpick to, uh, to do it if we're not going to go anywhere with it. Dang it. Oh! Oh, yeah, there's more than one. Well... Oh, that actually sucks. Can I not miss this? Hmm. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I have the impression this is a powerful enemy. You jerk. Okay, that was not very nice. I really don't understand why. I st oh, maybe I rolled initiative. That's why I we started combat and I had to go. So that's a marauder. Yep, that's our first assault rifle right there. And we have an eye patch, an icy no 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 no, icky. Is that what it is? I think yeah, an icky old eye patch. Putting this on without any antibiotics handy might actually cost you an eye. It wouldn't surprise me. I don't actually it might kill you if you have any a biological infection in your eye. You probably are gonna die. Uh, but that was very good. This guy was locked in there, and uh, yeah, that's perfectly acceptable. I'll hang on to my life right now, to my health. Oh, not, that's not the button I need. I was pre I pressed plus because that's the quick save button on Deus Ex. I just finished playing the original Deus Ex on the channel as well. Got some dirty rag. I think that's how you make the bandages. But I don't... I can't make... I can make the uh, health hypo, though. But we don't have the, the tools. Also, we don't use them all that much, so, you know. I don't really mind. So, we have dogs. And we hadn't heard them... Before... This is pretty bad. I have a save. But this is pretty bad. Please don't miss. You missed. Okay, flee. Oh, are they upset? They're upset. The dogs are upset. Okay. Take a health thingy and run. Okay. Are they... Do they not like ice? Or fire, I should say? Oh, that critical was... Amazing. Maybe they don't like fire. Okay, I'm below, I'm below the threshold, so I'm not going to regenerate. So that kind of sucked. Uh, we have some things in here, antidote and whatnot. And some stuff. So this is where the, the dogs were, obviously. An old train schedule. Partially burned train schedule of lower underrail metro system. Uh, does that not implicate that underrail was a name for before the apocalypse? Whatever led to the apocalypse. I don't think that's ever explained in this game. That's a little bit... That's kind of cool, actually. We have a riot armor over here uh, that adds a bunch of armor penalty. Increased by 100% against bullets and shotgun shells. The mechanical damage thingy, which is not, sort of nice. Mechanical resistance... Uh, mechanical, mechanical damage against melee is also increased. That's really nice. I think that might be better than what we have right now. Unfortunately, it's sort of broken. Mm, so I can sort of stick to mine and get in the experience to... Oh, no, one point only. There's a dead man over here with shotgun shells and a desk with uh, more shells. W2C rounds, which are actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah, this place is just rich on, on things. So I imagine this leads back to the same place. Let's give it a shot. I mean, there's no 
downside to going back there. Did I clear all this? I think so. So we took that exit, and this one is also done. So that means we're good. Yeah, the map is going to take care of the rest, I would say. Okay, let's sneak. That one was open anyway. That one is locked, but as you can tell, it's not necessary to open it. There's some rocks over there. <laughs> I'm thinking those rocks are actually going to be necessary to be blown up. That's kind of a surprise. Let's go in there. I wonder what is in there. We're going to mark it on the map, though. So, all in due time. Oh! Okay. Oh! Enemy. Somewhere. But I rolled initiative, even though they're sneaking. I don't like this. Not enough action points. It's fine. Oh, that's open already. You freaking jerk. Okay. So frighten you. <laughs> and then do damage. Freeze you in particular. Okay, that might kill him. It should. Good. Okay, let's mark this as rocks too. Because... It does. He does rocks. This guy had cave hopper leather overcoat. That's not too shabby. Some healing items, which is pretty good. Save the game. I am a little bit lost in regards to where in the level I am right now because this is. There's a lot of things around here. Look at all the little nooks and crannies in here. Never know how to pronounce that expression that I just said. Is it correct to say nooks and crannies? Because crannies to me just reminds me of gram Grammys or grannies. <laughs> it's like, what, this, there's grandmothers in here? What's, what's this all about? This is weird. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, I remember that. There's a, a, bre a rebreather. There's a way to do this without taking damage. I don't think I have that. Maybe we get it? Uh, yeah, I definitely remember that. Also, I'm pretty sure that there is something really nice in there. Hmm. Let's see what it is and not get it. So, no sneaking. Just the heal. Go in. Lockpicks and bottles. All nice things. Oh, that's right. Contaminated. That's right. This thing works in a specific way. It's actually kind of interesting. Uh, so if I... Actually, let's let's go there and get it. So the way it works is um, the stacks. Basically, the longer you stay in there, the more damage you take. And uh, it's sort of interesting. So it, it, it's the... the it's like you're balancing things. But, yeah, that's that's fine. We There's a way to avoid that. We don't need it. So, there's the exit. And there is the only exit, which means this area doesn't actually have a passage. Because we can remove that. I wonder if it... No, it doesn't go up. Okay, well, it stays, it stays there. Because the path... I mean, it does have a passage. We just are going through it right now. So, we, we, we don't need to write it down. Also, this is definitely not where we are supposed to go. But it is fine, because exploration is great, and we're, we don't need to come back. We don't need to... Uh... Oh, there's lunatics. With doggos. Hey, doggo. Oh, yeah, we're... Oh. Mm. Okay, so this guy is a spellcaster. Which means neural overload is going to work better on him. The problem is... There's a lot of action points. Um, 
It doesn't actually. Well, let me let me uh, try that again then. How? Maybe he's not that good of a spellcaster. <laughs> um, yeah. So the what I was saying is we don't need to come back, like redo the areas that we've done already because of the cuts that I make. Oh, okay. Okay. So the doggo shows up, and that brawler shows up. Oh, right. It's a brawler. Those are nasty. Wow. Can you miss like before? Because I like those times. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Wait. <sighs> yeah, we're not supposed to be here. Uh, let's resume. Yeah, let's not. Let's not come back. Um. Um. Uh, the telekinetic. What? Oh, that's where we were. That's interesting. That's really cool. I had no idea. So, unknown. So, the telekinetic punches are actually telekinetic. Because the, 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 the description sort of implied that it was like a... You know, your punches become better. And not... I didn't realize... Well, I guess I kind of... I kind of didn't mind don't mind I wouldn't have minded using those telekinetic punches anyway we have places to go though so many places to go did we fully explore this area I do believe so but we didn't go everywhere so back over here so this is a diff so this lower on the rail map it's the same name lower passages it says over there, lower on the... No, no, it says lower passages. I'm just... I don't know how to read. Um, yeah, so... That's a different map altogether. I never I never realized that when I, when I was playing without the map. I figured it was all the same. So can, you can imagine navigating in here without knowing what you're doing. Oh, right, this one is blocked. There's just some rocks. And I can write those down. There we go. But it might have other connections, because there's a, that entrance. And that does mean this would be the only way out, apart from the stairs up. And the stairs up, mind you, that is a pretty big hub. Oh, but this has rocks as well. Oh, this is a different area. Okay. So, rocks. And I don't think we're going to be able to see the other side, so that... Mm, that uh, Notation on the map is gonna stay there for a little while because it could be that we could just go around It's a 50 log picking. I don't have that do I? No 30 okay, well, it's also gating us for For a uh, very difficult Content So there it is 50 log picking learning all this stuff very important and I, th I think I'm pretty sure the game just does a, a generally good job of uh, making sure you don't get yourself into too much trouble uh, just on account of the not being able to blow anything up but it is very expensive as you can see, expansive I mean uh, as you can see it is it's just it's full of stuff we can just keep going <laughs> and keep going which I'm very happy to do because it is pretty fun and also the experience. Oh, it's a red hunt. Oh, no, this level. Oh, crap. Okay. Do you like uh, me dying? Because I think I'm about to. Wow. Okay. Hello. Let's try another one in here. That's pretty good. Let's wait. You can see. Yep. And that's why I said I'm about to. That was pretty good. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna fall back a little bit. I don't need to use my sigh. 
I mean, I do. I'm gonna use this one, though. It's consi No, it's the same. It's considerably less damage. Hmm, I thought... I really thought this place... Well, we did dispatch those dogs pretty fast. <laughs> I really thought this place in particular... I even remember making a, a, uh, a thumbnail of me using grenades and whatever. I really thought this place in particular had a lot of dogs. And you can see... Oh, that's what I made the thumbnail of. Uh, ouch. I guess we're just gonna have to leave with those. Yeah, m mines are gonna be a problem. That's gonna be our limitation. One of our many limitations. And also, there's rocks in here. Because we don't have traps. Okay, we well saving is important as well. So I I why what what do I remember from this area? Because I I I definitely recall this this area for some reason. I think it was I thought it was the dogs, but I, I guess it might have been the mines. Hopefully there are not many of them. Okay, let's all, let's lock picking. Okay, our lock pick situation is is actually quite good. And the amount of skill that we have invested... Extract humor, we know that. Uh, the amount of skill we have invested in our uh, skills in that regard are definitely paying off. I'm gonna... I, I can't skimp on those, though, but they're pretty good. Oh! <gasps> a strange comm device! It looks like some sort of communication device, though you're unsure how it's used since it only has one button. Oh, it's old school, isn't it? It's old school, it has one button. Since it's already broken, you might as well take it apart and find out. Four times we can study that, and it's only one experience per. Uh, scope, and... Oh, scope is nice. I do not recall if... What do we have? A trapper's belt. That's the first one we get. Grants one extra utility slot, and traps increase by 15%, which is... interesting. Um... So yeah, we have another one over there, which is nice. Um, I do not recall if when... Oh, let's see. Yeah, when you complete one thing, it doesn't give you any more information. That would be cool if it did. Even if it were like a big description. That would be... I, I would be absolutely down for that. Just especially with the cell phone that we just got. It's an old school one. Probably still has Android jelly beans. Or even older. Jelly beans? What was it? Oh man! Can I get can I get better at that? <laughs> that's not better at that. <laughs> uh, that said, there's no need to go over there. What I want to look, what I want to see, because my character doesn't stop, but I think I see the trap before it detonates. I don't. Well, apparently I don't. Oh, I recall... I recall places with things like this. I think it's one of the, our big first first big fights. It's a place where there's a bunch of containers and there's some dudes in there. They're nasty. Oh, they're nasty. So, we're gonna have to figure out... There's ways to bypass the trap detection. I think there's, like, little head things... Head bends that we can just use to, uh, to be able to spot things. And, in fact... In fact, remember how I just said that it's one of our first big fights? I think it might be this fight. The fight of the mission that we're doing. And I think this map that I'm in right now might be that very map. With basically a blockade. I don't know. Let's find out next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.